You're watching Jack Chat, and I am Griffin Barrows. Mm -hmm. Tip one, uh, for a date, I recommend going to a museum. It's kind of boring, but you get to walk around a lot, you get to talk and see if you have natural chemistry uh, without being distracted by you know, other guys or uh, anything else. Uh, it's kind of my go-to number one for dating. Tip number two, uh, when it comes to sex lubricant, I like coconut oil. Uh, it's really great for fucking, but it's also super for oral, because no one wants like a mouthful of silicone uh, while they're doing oral. Um, so it tastes great, it feels great. It's also really good for just jerking uh, but don't use it for toys because uh, it will ruin your toy and that really sucks uh, water-based lube for toys but for actual sexual intercourse definitely recommend using uh, coconut oil tip number three uh, whenever you're trying to deep throat a guy um, whenever you're going down and you're afraid of being a little toothy or if he's too girthy um, kind of pull your lips around your teeth as weird as that sounds like that. Uh, that way you can uh, protect his girthy cock from getting like scraped by your teeth really bad. Um, it's, a, it's kind of a silly trick, but it actually helps save a lot of dicks. Tip number four, um, if you're afraid that your guy is going to come too soon, don't say don't come. For a lot of guys it ends up being a trigger and they start focusing on coming and they'll come anyways despite you just saying it. Um, so talk about something else, uh, compliment his body so he's thinking about something other than his dick, just you know, don't say don't come or else he might come too soon. Uh, flip side, if you're wanting him to finish faster, uh, kind of like make it like a threatening thing, like don't you dare come right now. And for a lot of guys that will send them over the edge. This has been Jack Chat with Griffin Barrows.